In this video we're going to explore the first of the tools available on the tools menu which is the Keyword Explorer. Now this is where you will do most of your keyword research. It's a very fast tool and very powerful. Let's have a look at it. So you can see that we have a number of columns and a number of tabs and buttons. We'll go through each one of these in turn. Let's start with a simple keyword and we're going to look at weight loss. I'm going to search for this in the United States, but I can look at any geographical location I want to. So if you were targeting Germany or Italy or the UK or Australia, you would just choose the appropriate uh, country here. And as you type in, you'll see that the list filters. So you just type in the first few letters of the country and the list will filter to show you the countries that match. I'm going to stick with the USA for this example. And when I click Explore Keywords, what it will do is give me a list of all the keywords that are closely related to my main keyword. Now if I want to search for multiple keywords at one time I just put a comma and then the next keyword let's say diet plans and then click on explore keywords. I'm just going to do this as an example with a single keyword for you but you can put multiple in here if you wish to. Let's start with explore keywords and leave it to run for a few seconds. It's pretty fast uh, we've got 1,317 related keywords. Now, in each of these, I've got a competition figure, a monthly search figure, an approximate cost per click, and a confirmation of the country that I've searched for. Because I can create lists here, I might have the same co uh, keyword in different countries, and that's why we have this option here for the country to show you which one you, you're looking at. This example, I just did the US, but I could run a search on Germany, and then Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and so on, and keep all the good keywords related to weight loss in a single list for whichever country I've chosen. So now what I want to do is just go through these and weed out the ones that I'm not really too interested in. So using the filters, what I can do is say, let's have a look at monthly searches. I want to have searches which are more than, let's say, a thousand. Click on refresh, and that now brings it down to 477 keywords. It's very important that you filter your list before you do the full analysis, because the idea is not that you analyze thousands and thousands of keywords, because that would use up your credits very quickly. The idea is you filter out all the unsuitable keywords and then analyze the ones that are left. So this is giving me monthly searches over a thousand, which is pretty good. I can add another filter. Now let's say I want competition, which is more than, and we put a number in here. Now the number, let's just move that out of the way. The number here goes from none to 99, so that's effectively 100% that we're looking at for the strongest competition. In this sense, the competition is coming from AdWords data. And what it means is how much the advertisers are willing to bid against each other to, to get on the first page of Google for this keyword. It does not mean how much competition you have to beat to get onto the first page of Google. That's the difficulty factor, which we'll look at in a second. This competition is competition for Google's advertising space. Now, that's generally considered a good thing if there's high competition, because it means there must be money to be made, otherwise people would not be spending money on advertising. So high competition is very often considered a good indicator, and as long as the difficulty factor is not too high and you've got a chance to rank for it, that can be a good thing to look at. So I'm actually going to put competition, let's say I want it to be more than uh, 40%. Just put 40. Refresh. And now we're down to 196 keywords. So it's beginning to be more manageable, but I can filter even more. So if I look at the approximate cost per click, this column here is what advertisers have to pay to get a click. So anybody who's paying $4.16 must be pretty sure that they can make money for that particular keyword. If I'm making a site where I have AdSense advertising, that's particularly relevant because the higher cost per click, the more money I am likely to make from somebody on my site clicking one of those adverts. So in some cases, what I might want to do is say, show me clicks that are worth more than, let's say, $2, and then refresh again. Now, I'm looking at 63 keywords now, and I've got the monthly searches are more than 1,000, so it's good search volume. Competition is more than 40, 
which means there are advertisers bidding for that and the cost per click is more than two dollars if I want to bring this down even more I can just filter out again a little bit more uh, if I had the country I could do that if I wanted to do a keyword let's just move out anything that says free so I might not be interested in people looking for free diet plans and then refresh and it comes down to 62 in this particular case so now what I have is a list where I can analyze them and I can analyze individual ones by checking individual boxes or I can select the entire list here and then do a bulk, bulk analyze of the entire thing. So what I'm going to do, just for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to do the entire list of 62 here. I've checked the box here, they're all selected, click on bulk analyze, and off it goes. Takes a few seconds, so we'll just pause while that happens. Now behind the scenes, a huge amount of calculation of all the search engine metrics is taking place to create this difficulty factor. And we have like a traffic like system here where the color is coded for the difficulty level. So red is very hard, uh, fierce, and, and then you've got this uh, lighter red is very hard and so on. What we've got here now, as you can see, is most of them are going to be pretty difficult or very hard, as you can see. We've got one or two that are easy. So some of these are going to be easier than the others. Now, Having analysed them, I can do a number of things. So let's just go through what we can do now. If I want to keep these for later use, I can create a new list so that I can keep them all nicely segmented. And if I'm working in multiple niches, I can have different lists to keep all the different types of keywords together. And then the entire thing is a little bit more uh, simple to manage and organise. So let me create a new list. And I'm going to call this one Demo Weight Loss. Now, when I save that, what it will do is save these to my list. It's going to take a couple of seconds. You can see it's just uh, got a, a progress indicator there. And that's now done. So that list is now saved. And I can come back to that later. If I want to, I can download, download the list from, from here into an Excel format or CSV format. I can use that in multiple places, even if it's only to keep a note of the keywords that I'm tracking. I can keep that on my computer. I can also feed it into link building systems if I have those. I can use it in spinning systems where I'm using different keywords in different places. Lots of uses for that kind of data, very easy to download. So now, if I want to look at the easier keywords to rank for, what I can do is remove keywords that are fierce. So let's do that now just by clicking on the word fierce here. And you see what happens is uh, we haven't got any fierce keywords, so that's fine. If I now click on very hard, it will remove anything from very hard. So we have 62 to begin with. We now have 33. So I'm left with moderate and hard keywords. If I want to get rid of the hard keywords to rank for, let's just click on that. And now I've got 16 keywords that are either moderate or easy. So you can see here the color coding is showing you. In fact, in this demo, I'd actually filtered before it had finished fully analyzing. So let me just get rid of the fierce again, and the very hard, and the hard. OK, so what I'm left with now is a few keywords that are easier to deal with. Weight loss clinics, that sounds an interesting one. Pretty good cost per click. Medical weight loss is an even higher cost per click. And look at the monthly searches. So that's a great keyword. So what I'm going to do is mark these as keepers. Just click here to mark them as keepers. And I can now look at individual keywords for more information. Let me show you the kind of information you can get for each keyword. So I'm interested in this one which has nearly 10,000 searches a month and a pretty high cost per click. Good competition as you can see, 70 level. So we click on the keyword and what it's now doing is looking at even more data for the keyword and here we go so it's not searched locally it's a general term as you can see it's not for like Dallas or London or wherever it's not a local search term so this is a general search term there are nearly 14 million websites that have those phrases those keywords somewhere on them but only 220,000 have that specific phrase in that specific order now that's a pretty low count, so that's pretty good. That means, as we can see, it's easy. I've got a chance to rank for that phrase. The average KC rank for the pages that are in the top 10 is only two. Again, this means it looks pretty easy. 
the higher the KC rank here, the harder it would be for me to compete. The average KC rank for the entire site is a bit higher, at 3, but it's still doable. And the average page links, this is to the specific page, remember, in, in the top 10, at 262 links. Lots of links to the sites, 3,000 million, but that's going to be skewed by probably one or two big sites. I'll explain that in a second. But the lowest page links out of the top five results, only 19. In other words, I might only need 19 links to rank on page one. And the lowest site links in the top five results is only 35, as you can see. The most popular domains are already taken for that keyword, as you can see, so I would have to look for some other domain name if I were going to register a new domain name. And the interest over time, according to Google, is growing very steadily, and as you can see, you know, it's, it's growing medical weight losses. It's pretty steady growth, and people are interested in that term. If we scroll down, we now get a ton of information. Let me go through this slowly for you. We're going to see the top 10 sites on page one of Google. We see the site, we get the information about the KC rank, the trust flow, the citation flow. If you remember from the previous video, these are metrics that tell us approximately, you know, backlinks and, and how likely a page is to rank in Google and so on. And we can see the strength of our competition there. We can see how many links they have, how much variety of linking, 652 links from 248 domains means they're getting about nearly three links per domain. If this number were higher, it would be better. So that's suggesting it wouldn't be impossible for me to get that many links with a little bit of work. This is 215 links from 57 domains. So that's not very varied at all. Again, it wouldn't be too much work for me to get that many links. And so on down to position 10, as you can see. Now, here's an interesting thing. Here's information about what we call anchor text. Anchor text is the text that people click on to go from one site to another. And so these are the keywords that Google will determine relate to your site. If somebody clicks on weight loss and gets to your site, that means your site is about weight loss. Fairly obvious. But if you use the same keyword over and over, Google will treat that as spammy. And so lots of variety for your keywords is a good thing. And what we can see here are the key phrases and keywords that the competitors are using. These are people on page one of Google. This is telling you the very keywords that they're using. So they're using anchor text and keywords of view website, website, medical weight loss clinic, the domain name, medical weight loss virtual clinic. You can see that they're not repeating any single keyword too much. And we can look at more details here if we want to. I mean, there's a lot to look at, as you can see. So they've got all kinds of keywords in here. Good ideas for you to follow. The next one, second one, you can see that there are, again, a lot of keywords. And they're not specifically using this particular keyword all the time. So what we're seeing is that the sites on page one are not overdoing the keyword. Even though they rank for that main keyword, they're not using it all the time. And again, that's a good signal for Google. So we've got this for all the other sites. You can work your way down and see what kind of anchor text people are using. And this one, which only has a few links, you see, Medical Weight Loss Center of Harrisburg. So this is particularly a localized site, and it's not even really using the specific keyword in its anchor text pointing back to that page. So this is suggesting, as we've seen, that this would be a relatively easy keyword to rank for. If you want to have a look at the individual page itself, you just click on here and it will open up the site. You can see what kind of content they have. So we've got this very loud uh, advert here. We can see that they've got a, a big engaging graphic and there's some information. We've got various pages here, including Facebook, Twitter, Google, privacy policy, terms and conditions, and so on. Uh, these are good things to have on your site. And, and you can get a sense of what they're doing on their site, the type of thing they're talking about. Same with the next one. We can have a quick look there. And you see it's a totally different site, but we've got success stories. Lots of graphics here, as you can see. Another video. Graphics are very engaging for users, keeps them looking. Uh, videos particularly keep people looking. We've got testimonials, 
uh, terms and conditions, privacy policy. So you can really see what people are doing to get ranked. We can see they've got a nice Facebook, Twitter and YouTube uh, channel links here which is great. So these are good examples for us to study and determine what's making a page rank. So that particular keyword shows us easy, great cost per click, really good searches here and these numbers are suggesting that we have a fairly good chance of ranking but this is the summary of all that information. So we're doing a calculation here for you so we're taking all this information into account and all this information of the top 10 and what you get here is a quick summary is this an easy to rank keyword or not and so it is. So what we have now here is another one which has fewer searches, lower cost per click but it's a different uh, phrase. Again it's saying it's easy, let's have a look at this one, we're just, uh, just going to have a look at some of the details here. So we're seeing the trend here uh, is slightly down, I'm not sure why, I might want to look at that, maybe it's the time of year. We have a .org domain available and a .us available but not the .com net and info. So if we wanted to we could get physiciansweightloss.org or physiciansweightloss.us. It's not a local search. 5 million websites with this phrase somewhere but only 9,000 with the exact phrase. You can see the page rank and site rank are very low, not many page links. The lowest one in the top five, very few links. That would be very doable. We could get eight links quite easily. And then again, we're looking at the anchor text, the kind of authority of the site, uh, the trust flow, the citation flow, and so on. So I'm just deleting that list because now I'm going to show you the individual analyzed keywords. So we've got weight loss in here for United States. Let's analyze the individual keyword itself. If you already know the keyword you're targeting, you can get straight to that specific information for that keyword directly just from clicking on analyze keyword and we can see all the data again 11,000 searches $4.16 it is a very hard keyword difficulty factor is very hard here so not particularly one I would go for you can see the numbers it's going to be difficult I mean it's increasing in uh, interest but it's such a big term weight loss and when you look at the trust flow and the citation flow these are high numbers makes it a bit more difficult for us to compete for for KC rank these are difficult competition websites. But if you wanted to look at something like, uh, here's a strange one, worm farming, let's analyze that keyword. That's an unusual one, so it shouldn't be quite as difficult. Uh, it's moderate, advertiser competition's high, but the cost per click is very low, not massive number of searches, quoted results. How many websites have that exact phrase with the words in that sequence? 21,000. Looking at the, K, uh, the KC numbers and the average page links, probably could rank for that and this is telling us yeah we could do that with a little bit of work we'd need to get some links of course but it's it's doable and the interest appears to be waning over time again this is information which will tell you is it likely that it's worth putting in the time and effort here to try to rank for that keyword or should we find something different and again I'm seeing it's not massive numbers on the trust flow and citation flow and so on if you still had your list showing you can get rid of your filters just by clicking on remove all filters and previous lists that you've made here's one I did earlier you can retrieve just by clicking on the name and it will load the data and you can see we've already analyzed these before so I've got some very difficult ones let me just get rid of the fierce and the very hard and the hard so now I've got two keywords that are moderate for this particular for it flaxseed weight loss okay 1300 searches $2.13 let me just have a look at that now I've never really heard of that before but it's telling me it's a um, hard keyword to rank for but there's only 220 sites with that exact phrase but they do have good KC rank and the interest appears to be going up in time so it may be that that's one I would want to look at when I'm looking at the other numbers here I might be willing to uh, take a bit of a chance on that one and although the numbers are not massive in terms of searches and so on it's potentially worth uh, a bit of effort. Oolong tea for weight loss. Again, smallish numbers, only a dollar for the cost per click. 880 searches. Let's just have a look what we see here on interest. Interest, the trend is up, definitely. And we'll see whether it's got massive quoted results count. 840 with that exact phrase, 840 sites. Not massive KC rank generally, low page links. So I think this would be something we could possibly 
uh, work on and get some links and yeah if you look at the top one no anchors no trust flow no citation flow these numbers are not massive so we could probably do a little bit of work uh, on that one but we've only got a small number of searches so whether it's worth it depends on you know what you're looking for yourself but you can see how much information the keyword explorer tool gives us in just a few seconds in the next video we'll take a look at the backlinks report